really just cool to be able to have each and every one of you log in. Um, I, I got my word out here. I hope you get your Bible out for just a minute. Um, if you got your Bible, hey, SD, great to see you. Uh, if you've got your Bible, will you just take it out for a minute? And uh, I want us just to go to a few scriptures, actually just one one specific passage this morning. And every every day, I'm going to share uh, a couple of passages from the Word of God. I just really feel like the Lord wants to encourage us in this time. I know we're, this is a difficult, difficult challenge, and we're going to be consumed with the media and watching what's happening all over our country and all over the world. And if we're not careful, like I said before, we're going to get swallowed up and overwhelmed by that stuff. But I really believe that God has got a message for us, and we got to keep going to His Word. Amen. This is the life-giving Word of God. So I want you to get your Bible out for just a minute. Again, I'm not going to be long on these mornings. I know people have limited data as well. Well, hopefully you get some uncapped. We woke up without water this morning. So I mean, you know, as if uh, as if uh, being locked down isn't difficult enough, we got no water. But how many know that, you know what, it doesn't matter what comes our way, God is bigger than our circumstance, amen? And I'm sure we'll get it sorted out. But in the meantime, His Word is what we're looking towards. We're going to set our eyes on the Word of God. So I want you to turn in your Bibles just for a minute to Isaiah, the book of Isaiah, and we're going to look at chapter 40. Isaiah chapter 40. Most of you should know already kind of where I'm going for just a minute, so just check this out with me. We're going to read from verse 27. I want to read this over you for just a minute, so listen to these words. Verse 27, actually let's start at verse 28. Have you not known and have you not heard the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, neither faints nor is weary. His understanding is unsearchable. Wow. Now, before we even go further, I just want you to hear that again. Have you not known and have you not heard the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, neither faints nor is weary, and his understanding is unsearchable. I really want you to emphasize on the fact that our God does not grow weary and that he faints not. That means he does not quit in times of difficulty. I need you to understand this morning that we can put our full confidence in God because he does not grow weary and he's not quitting. He hasn't given up on you today. He hasn't quit on you. He's not forgotten us because we're in lockdown and we're stuck in our homes for the next 21 days. No, in actual fact, he should be closer to us now than he's ever been. All of you that have been you know, watching Facebook have seen a couple of things that have been saying things like, oh, now all the husbands are in trouble because they've all been saying, uh, honey, I just don't have the time. <laughs> well, guys, I'm sorry. You've got all the time in the world now. I'm sure there's picture frames going up. I'm, I, my wife has a whole list over here of things that I never got to do, and now I'm going to do it. I'm going to get up and put the ladder up and get the drills out and put the pictures up and do the things that all the honeydew lists that we've all been avoiding. But at the same time, that's funny. But on the God side, we've also been making excuses with God. We've also been telling him, oh, Lord, I'm a little too busy. Oh, God, I, I got so much going on in my life. I'm sorry. I just can't make time for devotions. I just can't make time to get in my word. Oh, God, I'm so sorry. Please, please. I'm so sorry. And so we've been making excuses with God as well. Well, no more excuses. Now you're in lockdown. Now this is actually a lock in with God. I want you to think of it that way rather than thinking I'm, I'm separated from everybody and I can't get anywhere. No, no, no. See it as a lock-in with God. You're locked into His presence over these next 21 days. You and your family, as you spend time with Him, you are going to experience His presence like never before. God's going to reveal things to you. But the first thing I want God to show you is that His Scripture, His Word says to us that He does not faint and He does not grow weary. And His understanding is unsearchable. So why does he say that? Because his mind is higher than ours. His thoughts are not our thoughts. He doesn't think the way we think. And for many of us, we're concerned, we're worried. God's not worried. And you need to put your confidence in that today. His understanding is above your understanding. He knows exactly what he's doing. He's in full control. God has not lost control of the world control of his plan and his purpose it's still the same as it's been he's saying yesterday today and forever now verse 29 check this out he speaks to us and says he gives power to the weak and to those who have no might he increases strength even the youth shall faint and grow weary and the young men will fall but 
Those who wait on the Lord, he shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not grow weary, and they shall walk and not faint. Now, the first thing when I heard the Lord say to read the scripture to you this morning, my thought was, but God, we can't mount up with wings like eagles. We can't fly nowhere. We can't run because we can't even get outside to run down the street. And this must be very difficult for some of you athletic people as well that love to jog and run and ride your bike. That's got to be frustrating. And they shall walk and not faint. I mean, we can hardly walk. Maybe in your yard you can walk a little bit. So when you look at it in context to our physical situation, some of you are saying, Pastor, maybe this wasn't the best verse to use. Well, no, it's the perfect verse to use because it's exactly in this situation where we need to realize that God wants us to know that this is not a situation that's limiting us, but whom the sun sets free is free indeed. And he does want you to know that he is going to renew your strength and you are going to mount up with wings like eagles and you are going to run and not grow weary and you are going to walk and not faint. You say, well, where am I going to do that? Well, you're going to do it in the spirit right now. You're going to learn that you are from above and you are not beneath. Come on, we are living on this planet, but we are from another planet. We are from a place that is beyond our understanding. And that's what we're tapping into while you're busy living out your normal life. And some of you have to go to work and we're praying especially for a few of you that are specifically in the police force or you're in the medical field or in one of the areas that need to be uh, uh, you know, working and helping you. So we pray for you. We pray strength and life over you wherever you are. I know Sonica, you're also at work today. So I see you watching. Great. Shout out. Hi there. And we're praying for you. Pray that God's with you and that he's protecting you. And But for many of us, we got nowhere to go. So we're here. So we're stuck. We feel that way. But God's saying, no way. If you wait on me, I will cause you to soar like an eagle. Where are you going to soar? You're going to soar in your spirit, man. You're going to soar above your circumstance. You're going to look at what you're looking at from another perspective. And God really wants you to do that today. He wants you to know that you are not trapped. You are not locked but that his word and his spirit causes you to thrive. I want to read this over you again, those who wait on the Lord. This is 21 days of waiting. You could never get anything better than this, than to truly experience the presence of the Lord like never before. You're in your home, you're in your house, you're with your family, but learn to wait on him. Spend some time. Let me give you some practical tips the Lord told me to tell you this morning. Wake up in the morning. (laughs) Don't sleep till 10 and 11. Don't stay in your pajamas all day. Come on, be constructive. Wake up in the morning. Get dressed. Take a shower. Put on some perfume. I'm sure your family going to appreciate that. <laughs> Spray a little deodorant, guys. Don't think that just because you're stuck in your house, you're going to just lazy around and sleep all day and just watch TV. No, 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 no. Be constructive. Set your mind. Wait on the Lord. Allow Him to minister strength into you. Allow Him to cause you to be constructive over what you're doing. Don't just feel like, well, I got no purpose now. What am I doing? I'm just, I'm just here and just hanging around. I, I don't feel like like I've got anything to do. No, no, no. Be constructive. Put the word of God first in your mind. So the first thing I want you to do is when you wake up in the morning, get his word in front of you. Of course, every morning on the weekdays, I'm going to be talking to you and sharing with you. At least this is going to give you a few minutes of dedicated devotion time with a cup of coffee and all of us connecting with one another. And I thank you for connecting today, but you have a responsibility. Stay disciplined. Pull your family together. Do constructive things. Walk around your yard for a little while. Do some yard work Teach your kids about things that they should know. I saw somebody have a good example. They took some Monopoly money, and so they're having the kids do chores, and then they earn some of that Monopoly money, and then they buy some uh, some snacks and some chocolates and some things the grocery store in the kitchen that mom runs. And it's fun because it creates an atmosphere for people also to learn things and the kids to learn about how to earn finances and spend finances. You can't just get what you want whenever you want it. Do things constructively. Be creative. If you've got a great idea, post it, share it with someone. Tell them how you're doing things with your family. I'd encourage you as well, if you're part of One Vision family, post on the, on the church page some family pictures, a little video of you guys doing something fun together. It'll be great to encourage one another because the Lord wants us to know that as we wait on him, he is going to cause us to soar. He's going to cause us to run. He's going to cause us to walk. And you may feel trapped right now, but I'm telling you, you are not trapped. You are captured in his presence. You are captured in the presence of the Lord. 
And I know God's going to do great things through this. So we're praying for our nation. We're praying for you. Just know that you can connect with us. We also have a WhatsApp number that's connected to the page. So you can go on there and connect to that WhatsApp group. So if you want us to pray for anything specifically, if you're going through anything, if you're going through some loneliness, this is the first day today. So I know it's going to get challenging over the next few days and next three weeks. But you know what? God's going to be with you. His promise is that he does not faint. He does not grow weary. Though his understanding is unsearchable, as we wait upon him, he'll renew our strength. He'll cause us to mount up with wings like eagles. He'll cause us to run and not grow weary and walk and not faint. I speak that over you today. So, Father, I declare and pray over each and every one that's tuned in this morning and those who may be watching later. Father, I just pray, Lord, strength over them and over their families. I'm so excited, Lord God, that we can still connect. Thank you, God, for the Internet and social media that we can connect to one another. But, Father, help us to be a voice of, of hope. Help us to be a voice of encouragement. Help us to be a voice of joy in the midst of sadness and difficult situations, Lord God. We speak protection over our nation once again. So we speak, Lord God, that there will be good things that come forth from this. I thank you for everyone tuning in today and those that are watching later. Speak the life of God over you. May you have an awesome rest of your day. Make sure you connect with one another. Send each other messages. Let everybody know. Let your family know that you're praying for them, that you're encouraging them. Be a source of hope. Be a source of light. And God's will will be done and his glory will be revealed. When this is all done, we will see God heal and restore, set free, deliver, and save. He is a God that does not faint. We love you. 